Okay, you're gonna have to go oh, into to the East time combat. warp. Ace time combat tunnel wormhole. diving. Welcome back to Asexual Combat Three. Oh man, that. Hell yeah, God. <laughs> That's like regular combat. That's a heater. They, they just won't have uh, sex you're looking afterwards. for you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, it's Park. Park. Uh, emergency dispatch orders from Sarf. Oh right. Detailed We're objectives back. have been. Uh, we're back on the uh, Yupio route, at least for now, because uh, we're now going to see what happens if you don't shoot down Fiona and Clarkson. Yeah, because as you remember, we followed orders and shot down two innocent, well, one of our homies and then also one of the guys who kind of runs you. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Man, fuck Park, am I right? <laughs> All my homies hate Park. Yeah. I'm so glad we destroyed him and his stupid vertical helicopter in the tunnel. Yeah. At the end of our route, the Upio route. Upio standing for you put everything over. You put oh, everything yeah. over? That, uh, no, you put everything off is better. Whitney's got it. No, I see you, Pete. Upio. I see you, Pete. <laughs> Spell I cup. <laughs> Sunday. I've made this joke before. Yeah. It's just as funny the second time. It's true. It's uh, pretty I good. I'm hilarious. Problems. Yeah. I was born on part 14. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my line. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Eric. Eric. I, I, I have not gone through my character development th in this time around. Okay, yep. so we just started a new kind of so we restarted yeah the, basically again, the this one. is so this is uh we're back on the yupia route basically uh we've done the whole thing where we don't side with Dijon and join general resource but uh at the end of this mission was when we'd shoot down fiona and clarkson and uh mm -hmm. that would like solidify us being on the yupia route yeah and so, so what, what are we doing th what are what, what's different about this run through that you we are to going to, to find out yeah okay so this mission yeah, is literally just the same. Cool. All you're doing the is story. shooting down the general resource fighters that are attempting to shoot down General Clarkson mm -hmm. in the plane. So this part of the mission is literally the same. I Nothing love how different. like general resource really are just a bunch of assholes. No, yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, I think I said this before. Like, we don't really have the context of Newcom yet, but uh, like, even with like Park being. Captain dipshit, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I still feel like Dishon's worse. No, he's a... And also, what literally we've been talking about this whole time, too, in the <laughs> series is, you know, obviously, yes, the sublimination of humanity is... It's pretty fucked, but the worst part is the guy just smells bad. So, like, I yeah. mean, come on. Oh, look, there he is, Keith. Keith. And then, you yeah. died. There's me, trying to, there's me trying to kill him again. <laughs> um, no, he died in our last... The last time we played. Oh, that's right. Oh, he spoilers. did die, didn't he? Yeah, he, after he got... After he was pursuing Dijon and got fucking his ankles broken with one of the most simple air combat maneuvers and over under barrel roll, uh, barrel roll. he got shot. But then, as he was going down, he was like, mother, mother, and then shot a missile at Dijon, which killed him, And then, but then also he like dies off screen, so... So I made hot chocolate today, but instead of yep. using cocoa powder, I put like half a bar of extreme dark chocolate melted into soy milk. I thought you were going to say half a bar of soap for a second there. Oh, and it was a was lot. Fully expecting you to say bone broth. I was going to say that too. Uh, all right. That so now that we've completed obvious. the mission, here and comes I'm, the... I'm uh, feeling the, the theobromine slash caffeine hit. I should not have done that Oh, hi, yeah, Rena. Hi, Rena. It's been a while. Stimulant. Rena, you came oh, to us? My... We've been saved! Rena. <clears throat> Change of plans. It has become clear that the motive of this private flight oh, is jet. espionage by Delegate Clarkson and Fiona. 
Sea scar duty. Shoot down the private jet. But no, right, no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna shoot it down. I Wait, got a homie on board. Who is in there? For the Concorde jet, because isn't the sub fallacy actually man? based off the Concorde Wait, jet? Don't shoot. Stop. It's also known as the Concorde fallacy. Yes. Personal confirmation is impossible. Therefore, I prioritize orders. No, the communicator's been jammed. Hey, Fee, answer me. I know you love Bob Marley, but please, I'm trying to greet you. <laughs> I leave the target to you. All right. So as uh, I'm as helping I Fee, I'm uh, instead Fee, of taking Fee, out oh, Delegate Park, I'm going to take out the extra escort plane. All right. That game um, accidentally took out the first time we were trying to record this. Wait, who's, carry, time, yeah. who's the escort plane, plane, plane carrying again? Just some guy. Delegate Clarkson and Fiona. Oh, okay. yeah. That's just so we're taking guy. down our... Oh, yeah, because we accidentally took down our friends that time. Yeah, this is any yeah. guiding UPO aircraft to control their space. So, yeah, we're doing it on purpose. Uh, oh, it's time for some hot, steamy action again. <laughs> do I again. skip this or do I fucking go some for it? Some totally not asexual you, combat. If I recall correctly, you... Go for it. Just completely fuck up, but still still manage to succeed oh, yeah, that's somehow. Right. I, I managed to fly past the refueling wire, but then it, like, counts. So, anyway, you'll see me here uh, fight for my fucking life to do this goddamn mid-air refueling. I know it's so much easier than it than I'm making it, but I'm just so fucking one head. So, like, am I there? Nope, not even close. The green diamond isn't lit up. None of the lines are lit up. Okay, mm -hmm. wait. All right. Time to, okay, almost got it. Got the horizontal line. <laughs> really nope. Just... Okay. Nope. All right. Now boost in. You okay, aren't even and... close, my guy. <laughs> nope. Not even. Nope. The horizontal. Okay. Uh, mm, nope. We're kind of close now. Nope. Okay. Now we got to get the horizontal. Okay. And both the lines are gone and the diamond is gone. So I'm like, you know, okay, whatever. Fuck it. I'm just going to try and fly past. Just me trying to use third person. Nope, not working at all. Whatever. And, and suddenly, yeah, I did it. Ah, uh, GG's got it. Yep. <laughs> great work. Great fucking work. I'm the best. Way and to go, friends. Some we did it. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah. I'm Blaine's ex. There we go. We did it. We didn't shoot down Delegate Clarkson. Great work. Even though Park was like, they were this. The flight was espionage. It was it was espionage. They're spies. You got to shoot them down. Um, but I said no. Nice. Sila and Charbides. It's a it's a story. It's one of the most Greek stories. They're a Greek story. Thank you. Hmm? Which one? Oh, well, there's a couple. I don't know. Maybe I'd be like the story of Theseus, where he like balls the fuck out and kills the Minotaur, and then takes oh my Queen gosh. and then takes yeah. Queen Hippolyta. The amount of dark chocolate I just consumed has the equivalent caffeine of a cup of green tea. No wonder I can feel it. I'm super <laughs> caffeine sensitive. <laughs> How are you getting that much caffeine out of dark chocolate? Welcome to New Con. Our it was conglomerate's about an ounce continued of, like, goal is 85% to dark chocolate. provide mm. the software to build tomorrow. In the Newcom group, a computer-based research environment serves as the core of the group's five major divisions. It's like mostly cacao. Information research, very Newcom sugar. info. There's cow in it? Outer space yeah. research, Newcom no. space. No, it's dark chocolate. There's no milk Biological in it. research, Newcom bio. No, I calm. Telecommunications like, yeah, research, Newcom Sphere, and public relations, Newcom Publishing. Basically, my experience is thanks to all Newcom, and despite our ill mannered visit, opened the doors to us without a single complaint and welcome us warmly. We were saved by the efforts of a single pilot. I didn't talk That's if it took that much effort to talk. That's a courageous choice. Surely none of us will ever be able to forget this day. At three o'clock this afternoon, you, I, you, your delegate, Gabriel W. Clarkson. Gabriel. Along That's with Gabe's my name. subordinates, mm -hmm. with 38 of my fighter pilots, declare that we defect to the Newcom group. So technically General Park was right. It was an espionage slash defection flight. Ah. Making this decision. Ah. Yes, well, 
We are broadcasting. Well, this is a uh, that's the lady. Boxen's press conference, but the sound cut off. Oh shit! <laughs> it's the lady. I'm so here's dude. the thing. Well, I, I actually I can't listen. hear anything because I have the volume down turned down enough so that the mic doesn't pick it, or that the recording I doesn't pick it totally up. Totally don't blame you there. Gubby. Um. I do. Gubby. She just goes over to explain the flight and. See what it's I don't get like is. Season. You'd think, like, with what we understand about the guy, you'd think that Eric would have defected to Newcom 2 in this context. Yeah, but he didn't, he, I don't know, he didn't, like, know that this was, like, an actual... Because, obviously, Eric's whole thing is that he, like, also follows orders and then, like, regrets following the orders and then, like... Balls the fuck out at the end, but yeah, that's true. He uh, he because, goes fucking ballistic at the end. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, because oh, we weren't so there to like, you know. Also, this is another consequence of us not being there to like continue on that path. Um, same deal with Reina, um, but this is like because we're not there to blindly follow orders like Eric and have him and like assist him in fostering his own like disbelief over Park and Upio and all that bullshit. We're not there to help him realize that, uh, honestly, it's uh, better to ball the fuck out and go solo than to uh, be a nerd who follows orders. So, anyway. All right. Here's, here's uh, Whitney, you're, you're, you're Fiona and uh, Cynthia. I th- yeah, uh, I think yeah. she was Fiona. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Is she mute in your lore? <laughs> Wait. No, so so it says it's Cynthia because this is Cynthia. This is uh, Fiona's older sister. Uh, oh, Fiona I was speaking. 100% forgot what Fiona looked like. Oh, my yeah. God. And then no, I saw Cynthia, and I was like, oh, this isn't me. We haven't seen Fiona in a while. Yeah, like, so yeah. that's that's fair. Um, it's Cynthia anyway, so this is Cynthia. From... This, is, this is her older sister. Um, wow, I can't believe her sister is the Sino region champion. <laughs> it's and crazy. you know, it, it was actually funny um, when I was over at Evan's place, um, you know, it's chugging along the main missions. Funny. Yeah, you know, it's not really funny. Um, I was chugging along the routes uh, just to get through, and I actually did the mission where because usually when I play, I, I join Reina, yeah. and for her mission where she finds the the Night Raven. But I've never done the one where you don't. So I tried it, and lo and behold, I, it's another mission where you have to blow up smokestacks because there's a blimp with like you know bioweapons loaded in it. And if it hits blimp. one of the if it hits one of the smokestacks, then obviously mission's over. The balloon crashes and spreads it all over anyway. But after that mission, there was some um, there was some some dialogue from Fiona who talked to you kind of one on one. Was like, hey, my sister works for Newcom. I'm thinking about defecting. So, and I, I, I never knew like at all in this game, mm-hmm. or let alone that mission was as cool as it was, even though it was kind of boring. Anyway, so your first cutscene here, uh, our first mission. There's this big stingray fighter, and we're like one of those cookie cutter oh, sharks. Shit, but jet instead stingray. Of playing, yeah, but instead of us being like a little like fish that like hangs under the manta ray's wings and stuff, I'm like a plane. Okay, okay, that's fair. Now, here's my question in response to that. Yes. Do we still get to say yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think everything you said went through on our end. <laughs> yeah, all I heard was, "Do you get to hear?" Ch-? And it Do cut we out. still get to go? Grrr! Really? Oh my fucking god! I hate Discord. I hate Discord so much. Um, <laughs> it is weird how much Discord blocks out screaming too. Yeah. Is there, there a way I to tell cut- you? Is there a way to turn that shit off? Yes, you could yes, probably just yes. turn on original sound, kind of like how you do in a Zoom meeting. User settings. Wait, you've never used it. Voice but and there, video. It's in the audio scroll settings. all the way down, I think. Noise suppression. Crisp, standard, none. Choose none. But a lot more will come through, just letting you know. Yeah. Okay. So don't fart. Yeah, it's set to crisp right now, so. Yeah. Beep. Um, <laughs> I, it was really funny. My um... So anyway, what I was saying is you still get to say, Shh! Like in Mega Man X4. Yeah. Yeah. Did it, hear, yeah. did it pick up that time? It did. It did. It did. It, it did. All right. Why? It partially did. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, I need to report this. 
report this to the police? Sorry, I, 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 here's where I need to admit that I'm doing two things at the same time, but I was checking, I was managing my work's Facebook page simultaneously, and like, wow. a woman with topless came up, and I'm like, that should not be there on Ooh, the timeline. That is scary. I'm afraid of boobs. <laughs> are you boobs it, in the that, church? It's really hard being a woman when you're afraid of boobs. It, it, my life is kind of a struggle. Wait, there's boobs in the it. church? Uh, I mean, like, we're all naked under our clothes, if you know what I mean, yep. so... I'm not. Yeah, speak for yourself. Exactly. I have another set of clothes. <laughs> you, take off, <laughs> you keep taking off your clothes, and it's just more clothes. It's more clothes, infinite, yeah, like. yeah. I'm like Aunt Takamaki when she goes over for the drawing. She's got hella clothes on. How do I report this? I'm gonna report for nudity. Oh, look, there he is. There's Keith. We get to shoot his ass down for being a buster. Why just his ass? Uh, because the rest of him needs to be identified by his family. I've heard of I'm assless chaps, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not a monster. <laughs> I just don't need pictures like this coming up when I'm on the work office computer and I'm in the middle of managing the Facebook page and people come in to see me. That's not what we need. Um, oh, oh, you're managing the Facebook page and there was a bot there. Is that right? No, it was uh, okay. I'm glad. I'm glad that wasn't the case. I, it was on the timeline though when I logged into my work's Facebook account. Mm. Facebook yep. is terrible about that. No, you know if like, that was the if that was the electrosphere, you wouldn't have to deal with those problems. Facebook I'm at this saying. point has devolved okay? into uh, yeah. being essentially uh, AI generated images. And all of the comments replying to them are bots saying stuff like beautiful. So therefore, uh, AI is basically feeding, like, Engagement is basically firing. feeding an algorithm that is also bots. It's it's, it's actually so funny because it's, um, it's resulting in, like, because, you know, over time, like, the content, because it's, like, what gets engagement is, um based on, you know, like, the algorithms of the bots who are, like, reacting to the posts, and then the posts will react based on which of their posts gets the most engagement, and so it'll so become more concentrated, out. and so there are accounts that just AI generate, like, random stupid images of Jesus. Yeah. I've and seen it's, that. it's just Jesus. Because it's like, yeah, that would be, you know, if you were to, if, you know, if I were to make a bot to generate... AI images and try to get engagement from random people on Facebook, I would probably choose Jesus. Yeah. Because that's going to, like, the people who are the least likely to be able to identify AI art um, are, like, old people. Yeah. Who oh, yeah. are just statistically more religious. Yeah. Right. And yeah, so it crosses over pretty much. And, you know. I saw a bunch so, of that with the latest Eclipse, too. Clearly AI Eclipse art that... Oh. A lot of people probably wouldn't recognize as Eclipse art unless you know what to look for for AI art. Like, this didn't happen. Based on this angle, that couldn't have happened, you know? I miss the days yeah. when Facebook and other social media accounts were just what the people you follow post, and then, like, their reactions to things, like their comments or when they're tagged or... You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I, like I miss sometimes that. Like your friend would like share a post or whatever, and you, yeah, you would I miss that. when the timeline was just what I asked to see. To be fair, Twitter is still like that. Mm. Sort Which, of. You know, it it, try, it, it mm. tries to force feed the uh, algorithm, the algorithmic for you tab before it shows. Oh, you. but you, if you don't go to the for you tab, though, then I, yes. So here, don't here's ask what I will say. It. Here's what I will say is it is above and beyond better than Facebook. Yes. Twitter? Facebook is a fucking wasteland. Yeah. I know. It's like most of the stuff on my timeline is. Well, I mean, I don't use Facebook personally, but I use it for my work because I manage our church's yeah. social media accounts. I mean, the accounts. only thing, the only and thing. And it's like, my timeline is pretty much things that I did not ask for. I Even mean, though I... I do have friends, I never see anything the friends post. It's all mm. just like this random stuff that I didn't ask for. Yep. Um, I, uh, I, um, ha I, uh, ditched, uh, I, I've ditched, uh, Twitter as well, with the exception of, like, uh, sharing anything related to this channel or my main channel. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. want nothing to do with the cesspool that is social media anymore. I totally Honestly, can understand that. The most I like, just like I working. Use, I use TikTok. I don't know if that's. I use it like YouTube though, so it's not really like a yeah. social media. Public. Okay, I don't use TikTok either. Closest, I don't closest use to social, social media, media like, that I yeah. use is either that or Discord. Yeah. 
It's Fiona. Oh, it's Beep. Why you shot her down? I, I've already heard about yeah. how they think over and over for my sister. So, I'm, so I am. You didn't. But you know, with the revolt and all. Well, thanks to all that, like... we've got nowhere else to go back to. So we've got no other choice. We are doing the okay, uh, so... we're doing the route where we don't shoot her down now. Well, I thought you said I thought you said this was the one that you did. I just missed her. No, okay. that was the Upio route. No, and technically that was also Upio the general and, resource route and general resources. Yeah, these are all really confusing Dude, me. Gabe, Gabe got so disappointed. <laughs> I know. I do what I need. Like, I need a flowchart. Didn't, shoot... didn't we shoot her down and Gabe was carry? <laughs> We need. We, someone needs to make a flow chart of the different routes because I, I have them all confused. There is, really and that's what I've been using hand. to Dave do the game. One on hand. <laughs> okay, yeah. I would. Would Would you be interested in sending that my way? Consciousness. That would help me figure Firstly, out what's going on. Firstly, we're currently on the line with Swallow Data Swallow with Doctor Simon of Newcom, the def fuck on the project. <laughs> yeah. So let us begin there. Good day. Oh, can I talk now? <laughs> And how about a little history? When government still held sovereignty, the computers of the era were nothing more than tools for humans. And only in the realm of science fiction, in novels, movies, and video games, did we dare dream of robots and cyborgs, of giving computers and machines human characteristics. Still, I have yet to see true intelligent machines with complex human emotion or artificial life forms. Why is that? It was a flawed notion to begin with, to create life out of nothing. This is still the purview of gods alone, but for us as humans, there is a possibility in the choice to become machines ourselves. For example, I'm wearing glasses. Depending on how you think about it, I am partially mechanical, a cyborg. We may have we have many machines to augment us. If we take this to its logical conclusion, a person, a human's brain's contents, encoded in the entirety as data, could be copied onto a computer. A dead copy of a brain, if you will. That's me gagging. That is my research. Do you see? This is no pipe dream of yesteryear. In fact, there are floods of applicants from within Newcom desiring to participate as test subjects. There exist elements in the mass media who would defame me and my work. This is no different from those of old who say they saw first, first on airplane and denied that a chunk of iron could even fly. The foolish cowards. Uh, sorry. Looks like our connection is bad. Doctor, can you still hear me? We'll stop for a commercial break. What are we advertising? Right. What are they advertising? Uh, hi, Cynthia. Sorry hi, to Cynthia. butt in. You said butt. Orders the sortie. Details in the briefing. A new R number is ready and waiting. It's important to test a variety to find the coffin that fits you. They mean of the plane, not like you being dead. Well then, I'll see you in the air. This um, right is called the I know we were talking system, over it, yeah. kind of. Yeah, I know we were talking over it, kind of, but uh, Cynthia is the older sister of Fiona. She is the chief flight officer of Newcom's Air Force. Um, she uh, is uh, really pretty. Uh, he he. In, you know, uh, I made that. I made the obvious like joke with the name, but uh, she. I mean, like, it's not just the fact that she has blonde hair. Her face kind of reminds me of Cynthia from Pokemon as well. <laughs> yeah, she's got a very gentle look to her. Uh, anyway, like, well, so uh, it's like it's like it's like gentle yet confident is what I yeah get, yeah which yeah that's Cynthia <laughs> yeah so we get uh, we unlocked two new planes here uh, we got a multi roll the Delphinus two uh, on the Upio route we flew the Delphinus one quite a bit um, and then we also have the Orsinus which we flew on the Upio route also when we were doing that false mm -hmm. flag civilian bombing operation that set off the whole conflict between General and Newcom uh, but yeah so uh, now we get. To, I don't know why I'm waiting here. I think I'm just like, I think I was talking to you again. Um, but yeah, so our, our squadron this time around, instead of stinky Dijon and kind of an asshole Keith or kind of annoying Eric until he's not and my wife Reyna, we have uh, Cynthia and Fiona. Uh, yeah. Of course the shuttle has no weapons. It's a blah, 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 whatever. Let's go. Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. 
Let's get. Let's take off. Prepare to qualify. Here's me. Taking off. Wow, you what did you it! You off? took off! Don't take off, that's indecent. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you'll have to excuse oh, Terry. She saw boobs on the internet and got scared. Yeah, I've never seen boobs before. Yeah. It was traumatic. Just me doing a quick little pan around of so cool plane. I need to see that now. plane. Why does that plane have a dick? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, not but why a, is she right though? If she's Carrie, oh, didn't you hear? Delphinus, Delphinus, whatever. <laughs> no, Carrie, <laughs> didn't you hear? The plane took off. That's <laughs> true. It did. It needs to put on some pants. <laughs> if if airplanes were to wear <laughs> pants, would they wear <laughs> them like this? Like this. <laughs> they have them like over the afterburners or over like the landing gear. <laughs> Neither of those sound practical. Oh my god! Not even slightly. You either cut the plane's ability to stay on the ground, or you cut the plane's ability to fly. Ugh! Choose your path, modern man. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a plane anymore if you cut its ability to fly, so if it wants to stay a plane, it, you should cut its ability to land. It, well, see, here's the thing, is it, is. here's the thing, okay? <laughs> you have to put it on before it takes off. So, in other words, it can't even, like, get off the ground, let alone land. <laughs> That's what I mean. It can't go. It can't taxi. <laughs> it's useless? No. So, with the other one, it can at least move on the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barely, because even then, if you're covering the afterburners with the pants, how is the engine going to move if it has no? How is the vehicle going to move if it has no thrust? Man, pants are just like the worst possible idea for planes. <laughs> it's a plane, I know. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like you can't win. It Wait, can't unless, move, unless it can't move. <laughs> unless okay, you install a butt flap in the pants. Ooh. <laughs> I oh, thought you were so going to go with the PP zipper with pants route, too, but that works. No, butt flap. No, afterburners are a plane's butt hole. Yeah, of course. Not the PP. Some of them, yeah, some of them have two and some of them have one. Yeah, like Just people. like me. <laughs> imagine, like, so imagine if, like, you're playing this game and somebody says, like, if a plane were to wear pants, would it wear it like this or this? And then the game just goes, decide. And, like, which decision you make puts you on a different route. <laughs> <laughs> is it like that dog meme, the one when it was wearing the pants? Is that what you're thinking Yeah, it's of? the origins that's of that, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... yeah. Reminds me of a quote. Um... What you is it? You man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. <laughs> uh, a firm. No, um... There's a, there's a quote from, from Blue Archive that states... If you believe swimsuits are panties, then they're panties. So if you believe that a plane's afterburner is its butthole, it's its butthole. It can be anything if you believe! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like mannequins. It's a variety of Gnosticism. Manic Fitting for this game. What? Mannequins? Uh, the mannequins do believe that the truth is dependent upon whether you believed it. Hmm. At least that's part, of, part, of, their, part of their deal, not 100% of the deal. Oh, so what you're saying uh, is that if you think you don't exist, then you there, then you, that means that you actually don't exist. I guess if you believe hard enough. What is it? What's the fucking, what's the fucking FF9 theme? I wanted, I wanted to sing it, but I forgot the words. Uh, Journey. That's not Final Fantasy, you fuck that Smash Melee, goddammit. Is it <laughs> Yeah, he is, but it's not called Final Fantasy Bros. Melee. It, it, it's it, not? No. Furthermore, uh, the, the Final Fantasy content in Smash Bros. is exclusively FF7. Yeah. Compare that to Dragon Quest, which got four games worth of content and a few references to games that are not said four games. Yeah. There's no such thing as any other Final Fantasy game, idiot. What the Idiot. fuck was Final Fantasy 16 that came out a couple of, last year? No, I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, I can tell you what it is. It is the uh, best-selling PS5 game in Japan. Yep. First, let me say this is just a personal message. And uh, before I forget, the shuttle crew was also very grateful. Results show their experiments in space. Spice. 
<laughs> weren't Spice. fruitless either. I'm grateful that you came over to Newcom. I'm grateful too. With skills like yours, no matter what R number that comes out, you'll be able to synchronize with it. It almost looked like you could feel the wind on your wingtips. That's all I had to say. All right. Thanks, Cynthia. Bye. Adios. All right, Whitney, you're up. Ah, uh, after the sortie, I met with the crew from the shuttle. They talked about how it feels to fall from space to the sky. To rediscover the gravity that their bodies knew all along. I had a strong impression when I talked to them that the sky is the limit will never rise above. There's a lot to get used to. With people to meet and all the new newcomers. All the all the hey, new drinks, but I think I'll uh, fuck. Are you already used to it? This was fee. Wait, so I have a question, Fiona. Uh, did any of the people you talked to tell you anything about the experience of burning up and reentry? Survivorship. No, this is the. Fee <laughs> Sorry, Why what I... you say? He <laughs> said survivorship. <laughs> survivorship, bias. survivorship bias. Oh my god! <laughs> Plot armor. In a sense, uh, next time on yeah. Smash Team Games, uh, what happens next time on Smash Team Games, Gabe? Uh, we the continue to fly with Newcom and yeah. uh, learn about science and stuff. We're the Newcom Flight Bros. <laughs> <laughs>